but ultimately what this what this slide is referring to is that it says that we're not a novice an elder is somebody who's not a novice in the word like uh, we have we have a uh, we've worked through the Bible like we we have a we have an understanding not not under, not a perfect understanding but we kind of get it okay um, we're able to teach we actually have the ability to teach and a willingness to teach if I don't want to sit down with somebody and talk about their sin with them through the scripture uh, through biblical counseling like like I shouldn't be an elder that's kind of what we do if I'm not willing to sit and do the Matthew 18 conflict resolution thing step three that's kind of my role as an elder is to do the step three thing open my Bible and say buddy you're in sin stop it okay let's 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 be disciple all right so that's part of our job it's it's an elder is not just a guy that sits in the back office that nobody ever sees and then he comes out on the stage and you know preaches a message and then goes backstage and nobody ever sees him that's not what a pastor or elder does an elder is somebody who is out amongst the flock and teaching the flock guiding the flock being being an example to the flock okay now uh, there's a verse in James that's kind of interesting. It says, My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. This, this every word that I say, in, especially in my position of authority with my elder's badge, to the flock, I'm going to stand in front of God with. Like there's a, there is a heavier... According to this verse, a stricter judgment waiting for those that that take this on. So a lot of people jump in and say, "Hey, Pastor Dave, I, like, how do I become a pastor here at Calvary?" <laughs> right? And they, they're all excited because, man, I went to seminary and I went to school and I've been studying and I got this and I fight with the Jehovah's Witness on the street corners and you know, and, you know, and it's like, okay, slow down, just just be here. Just, just dwell. Just have some dwell time. Because if you serve here with a humble heart, the Lord is going to elevate those gifts and we're going to see those gifts becoming manifested in your life without an elder's badge, without a pastor ordination. We're going to see that it's going to manifest because it's a calling from the Lord. And say, so, well, but what do you mean? I'm, I, can't, I can't do the teaching until I get the, the, the position. And then we say, no, you can't get the position till we see you do the teaching. If it's a calling, if it's a gift, you're going to do it no matter where you are, whether you're at the gym, whether you're at, the, you know, at home with your kids, whether you're just in line at Publix or wherever you are. It's just like, I can't help it, but just the word of God is just coming out of my mouth. Like it's something that I'm doing. And there's going to be fruit that gets born out of that. And as somebody dwells here with a good reputation over time, the fruit of that word coming out of that person's mouth is going to bear fruit and you know we'll be able to witness sound in doctrine good reputation all that stuff so go make disciples uh make disciples guys you keep hearing me say that it's something that just keep that in mind I, just if there's anything you take get take away from this that's that in regards to your role as a leader in the church, pray and think about how to intentionally raise somebody up. How do I be intentional about that? It's not gonna happen by mistake. It's gonna happen because you actually come up with a plan. God put this person on my heart. Hey, can we have coffee? I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but like I just feel like I'm supposed to spend some time with you and show you the ropes and Let's go over a, a discipleship program together, something, whatever it be. But without intentionality, it's never going to happen. But this is our role. Okay, this is our job.